In this lecture, we'll uncover Plato's life, exploring how his Athens upbringing and Socrates influenced his revolutionary ideas in philosophy. Prepare to dive into the world of ancient thought. Diving right into the heart of a transformative era, post-war Athens faced severe economic scarcity and a political shift towards oligarchy. These hardships necessitated a profound reevaluation of societal structures, leading to skepticism towards previously accepted norms. It was a time ripe for philosophical inquiry, providing fertile ground for thinkers like Plato. Plato, deeply impacted by the trial and execution of Socrates, developed a critical stance on democracy. This event propelled him towards envisioning a radical alternative for governance, a society led by philosopher kings. Plato's philosophical methodologies, notably the Socratic method, sought to stimulate critical thinking and ethical reasoning. This approach was not merely academic, it was a direct response to the crises of his time. Through rigorous questioning and dialogue, Plato aimed to forge leaders capable of seeing beyond personal interests, advocating for wisdom and moral integrity as the linchpins of societal well-being. This period of crisis and genesis in Athens thus marks not only a chapter of hardship, but a monumental shift towards a new paradigm in political philosophy, deeply influencing future generations. The key to understanding Plato's intellectual journey is recognizing the indelible mark left by his mentor, Socrates. Through rigorous Socratic dialogues, Plato was immersed in a method of questioning that seeks truth by challenging assumptions, a practice he would later refine and embed within his own philosophical works, notably the Republic. Here, Plato's adaptation of dialectic questioning wasn't merely a tool for debate, but a foundational pillar for constructing his vision of a just society governed by philosopher kings. This articulation of an ideal state was directly informed by the depth of thought provoked by Socratic dialogue, emphasizing rational and ethical governance. Moreover, the execution of Socrates, which undeniably shaped Plato's perspectives on justice and morality, spurred him to explore these concepts with fervor in his dialogues. In Euthyphro and Crito, Plato navigates the complexities of virtue and justice, reflections catalyzed by his mentor's ethical inconsistencies with Athenian democracy. This mentorship extended beyond the transmission of knowledge. It was a transformational engagement that molded Plato's philosophical inquiries and aspirations, showcasing the profound effect of Socratic ethics on his protege's quest for a virtually governed society. The shock of Socrates' execution marks a pivotal turn in Plato's life, propelling him from a budding political career into the depths of philosophical inquiry. These events unfold against the backdrop of an Athens shaken by political turmoil and moral questioning. Socrates, charged with corrupting the youth and impiety, faced condemnation by an electorate disillusioned with the ongoing challenges of post-war recovery and governance. For Plato, Witnessing his mentor's demise under such charges crystallized his disillusionment with Athenian democracy. This profound event spurred Plato to conceive an alternative form of governance, the rule by philosopher kings, as delineated in his seminal work, The Republic. These philosopher kings, embodying wisdom and virtue, stood as Plato's antidote to the perceived failings of democratic leadership. Parallelly, Plato's philosophical legacy, notably his theory of forms, emerges as a quest for immutable truths in a world mired in flux and uncertainty. Through the allegory of the cave, Plato invites us to envision an ascent from the shadows of ignorance into the light of knowledge, symbolizing his belief in the potential for enlightenment and justice beyond the confines of the perceived world. This enduring search for truth and the ideal state underscores the profound impact of Socrates' death on Plato's philosophical endeavors shaping the legacy of Western philosophy. In the aftermath of Socrates' execution and amidst political fluctuation, Plato sought to cultivate a domain of philosophical exploration and education, resting on the outskirts of Athens. Here in this sanctuary of intellect, the academy emerged not merely as an institution, but as a beacon of dialectical method and communal learning. Plato envisioned it as an enclave where dialogue and study transcended the turmoil of city life, a testament to his commitment to wisdom and tranquility. The ripples of Plato's academy were felt far beyond its physical confines. 
It was here that the dialectical method was honed, influencing philosophical debate well into the medieval period and laying the groundwork for rigorous scholastic inquiry. Aristotle, Plato's most distinguished pupil, further propagated these ideals through his hylomorphic theory, manifesting the profound intellectual lineage of the academy. The Renaissance saw a reinvigoration of Platonic thought, intricately weaving it with Christian theology, thereby showcasing the academy's timeless relevance. At its core, Plato's educational philosophy championed the ideals of critical thinking and the unremitting pursuit of knowledge, principles that continue to underpin contemporary education philosophy. Plato introduced the theory of forms, a revolutionary concept asserting the existence of an immutable realm of forms distinct from our sensory experiences. These forms are the very essences of all tangible things in our world. For instance, the form of beauty, unlike the ephemeral beauty observed in the physical realm, remains perfect and unchanging. This dichotomy between the transient physical objects and the eternal forms reveals a fundamental duality in comprehending reality. Through his dialectical method, Plato reasoned that these forms could be unveiled, allowing us to transcend sensory experiences and achieve a higher understanding of truth. This philosophical pursuit was not solely academic. It aimed to provide a framework for societal norms and governance. By aligning with the forms, especially the form of the good, society could cultivate stable, ethically founded principles. The form of the good, deemed the pinnacle of all forms by Plato, illuminates and gives essence to all other forms, guiding not only the philosophical journey towards truth, but also offering a beacon for societal governance. This alignment with perfect and immutable ideals offered a paradigm shift in how truth, ethics, and governance were conceptualized, presenting a marked departure from the fluctuating realities of the physical world. Platonic dualism splits reality into two distinct realms, the immutable realm of forms and the sensory world of change. Central to this is the allegory of the cave, which masterfully illustrates the journey from the shadows of ignorance to the enlightenment found in understanding the forms. In this allegory, prisoners take the shadows they see as the only reality, not knowing a world exists beyond their confines. Enlightenment is likened to recognizing the existence of a truer, unchanging reality beyond these shadows. This metaphor embodies Plato's view that the sensory world is but an imperfect reflection of the ideal. Exploring this dualism further, we see profound implications on ethics, knowledge, and education. Ethically, true virtue emerges not from mere actions, but from the intellectual grasp of the forms. Knowledge transcends sensory experience, envisioned as the soul's remembrance of these immutable truths. Education's goal becomes guiding individuals from the illusions of their perceptions to the clarity of understanding the forms. This framework impacts not only philosophical thought, but practical approaches to living virtuously, pursuing wisdom, and fostering enlightenment within society. Through Platonic dualism, Plato does not merely present a theory of reality, he offers a blueprint for achieving a higher understanding and a good life grounded in eternal truths. Plato's vision of a harmonious society mirrors the complexity of the human soul. He posits that a well-ordered state mirrors a balanced soul, composed of rational, spirited, and appetitive aspects. These reflect in the societal divisions of rulers, guardians, and producers. Plato's analogy transcends mere categorization. It embodies the essence of a just society where each class's function is as indispensable as each element of the soul in achieving balance and health. On governance, Plato's model elevates education and the vetting of qualities such as loyalty and bravery as prerequisites for leadership. The philosopher king central to this framework embodies wisdom and philosophical insight, steering the state with justice and integrity. This portrays an intricate dance between individual virtue and societal structure, suggesting that the stability and morality of a state are direct reflections of its leadership and educational systems. This concept doesn't just advocate for a division of roles, but insists on a deep philosophical underpinning where leaders are groomed through a combination of ethical, physical, and intellectual disciplines, ensuring that governance transcends mere politics to reflect a pursuit of the greater good. Plato's innovative use of dialogues reshaped philosophical discourse, 
making intricate concepts accessible and relatable. By presenting ideas as dynamic conversations, Plato invited readers into a participatory exploration of philosophy. This method comes to life in the Meno, where Socratic questioning guides the reader through a meticulous examination of virtue, challenging them to discover deeper insights into knowledge and ethics. Similarly, the allegory of the cave from the Republic transcends a mere narrative to probe enlightenment and the profound effects of education on our grasp of reality. Plato's dialogues mimic the interactive learning environments he valued, drawing readers into a journey of discovery and reflection. The Meno exemplifies the use of conversation as a means to engage with and understand complex philosophies, encouraging critical thinking and a more profound comprehension of ethical conduct. On the other hand, the allegory of the cave illustrates the transformative journey from ignorance to enlightenment, showcasing education's role in shifting societal perceptions. Through these dialogues, Plato's work bridges the gap between abstract philosophical ideas and everyday human experiences, emphasizing the importance of narrative and conversation in imparting complex ideas, thus fostering a meaningful engagement with philosophical tenets. Plato's allegory of the cave brings to life the profound struggle between ignorance and enlightenment, deeply rooted in the human condition. The chains, symbolizing our own limitations, bind us to a world of shadows, a place where misconceptions shape our realities. Just like the prisoners in the allegory, we find comfort in the familiar, often mistaking these shadows for the entirety of existence. But the journey beyond the cave, towards the blinding light of the outside world, represents an intellectual and philosophical awakening, a freeing of the mind that Plato sees as the ultimate goal of education. Through this allegory, Plato isn't merely spinning a tale, he's showcasing the transformative power of philosophy and critical thinking. It reminds us that educators play a pivotal role, not in simply imparting facts, but in guiding learners through the challenging transition from seeing shadows to understanding the forms that cast them. This shift isn't overnight, it's a gradual enlightenment, urging a re-evaluation of preconceptions and encouraging a quest for deeper truths. Philosophy thus emerges not just as a subject, but as an essential discipline in freeing minds, fostering a society capable of seeing beyond the cave's confines to grasp the broader realities of existence. The Renaissance revival bore witness to Marsilio Ficino making an indelible mark by merging Platonic philosophy with the flourishing ideals of the Renaissance. This pivotal movement saw Ficino translating Plato's works, thus bridging the ancient with the modern. This synthesis not only invigorated intellectual pursuits, but also profoundly influenced art and science, embedding platonic concepts of forms into the Renaissance's very fabric. The depiction of ideal beauty and virtue in art reflects Plato's enduring legacy, illustrating how these timeless ideas were reborn through Renaissance humanism. Turning to theological realms, Augustine, a colossus in Christian thought, adeptly wove Platonism into the fabric of Christian doctrine. His insightful integration highlighted Plato's influence on concepts of divinity and the human soul. Augustine's doctrine of illumination, drawing directly from Platonic thought, underscores a shared pursuit of truth and wisdom. Through Augustine's writings, Plato's philosophy transcended mere academic discourse, enriching Christian theology by offering profound insights into the nature of God and existence, demonstrating the adaptability and depth of Platonic thought in nurturing spiritual and intellectual growth across ages. In contemporary discourse, Plato's philosophies continue to resonate, affirming his crucial role in shaping educational and governance paradigms that strive for justice, informed citizenship, and enlightened leadership, testaments to the timeless relevance of his ideas. Plato's theory of forms revolutionized our understanding of justice. By proposing that the physical world is only a shadow of the true, immutable realm of forms, Plato challenges us to discern the essence of justice beyond its flawed manifestations in society. The perfect form of justice, existing in an unchangeable non-material plane, provides a blueprint for aligning societal laws and individual behaviors with eternal truths, rather than transient perceptions. This philosophical foundation offers a profound framework for modern ethics and law, 
stressing the importance of striving for a justice that transcends the sensory world's limitations. Similarly, the allegory of the cave illuminates Plato's vision of education as a liberating journey from ignorance to enlightenment. Plato equated the prisoner's ascent from the cave to the intellectual awakening education should provoke, guiding learners towards truth and knowledge. His establishment of the academy embodies this ideology, aiming to foster critical thinking and self-discovery. This educational philosophy, rooted in questioning and understanding beyond appearances, remains central to modern pedagogical approaches, emphasizing the role of education in cultivating enlightened individuals for a just and rational society.